Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023 statistics. Today we will discuss about question number 28 to 30. Myself, Dr. Gar, we will solve all these questions with the help of shortcut tricks. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Garks and follow my telegram channel link GATE Garg GATE where you can find all those previous lectures related to the GATE statistics. As you can see in our last lecture we have discussed 11 to 15, 16 to 20 and 21 to 25 with the help of shortcut tricks. So let's start with this question. So if you read this question very carefully what is given to you x is the any observed sample of size 1. If it is observed sample of size 1 then the likelihood function that is from here that is itself what is the meaning of that that is, is nothing but f of x then which of the following is related to the most powerful test that's a very simple target what is the meaning of the most powerful test is you have to apply the likelihood functions corresponding to the h1 divided by the likelihood function corresponding to the h0 which is greater than k and then we can solve this equation and we'll try to see which the, what will happen at here so if you start from here what is the h function is half e raised to power minus mod y half of this e raised to power minus y square by 2 is grid k now this part is a constant which is a positive constant i can take on the right hand side and this part i can return as y square minus 2 mod y over 2 is say k star so i can take the log on both sides so it will be log of k star which is again a constant value so i can say k double star and divide it by 2 here now we can make the completing square it is mod y minus 1 whole square minus 1 is greater than of the say k star so that is the right answer of this so how you can write that i can see 1 is also be a constant so mod y minus 1 is greater than or equal to mod of this is greater than or equal to is the right answer so you can see which option is there c is the option which satisfied this condition is the right answer look at the another one which is question related to finding the maximum value and here that's a very simple task so the there are the two method are there the first method is you can find the value of the x from here this is 1 minus of 2 y square substitute value of the f in this equation now the function will be here 2 y square now we all know how you find the maximum minima you can take the first derivative second derivative is less than 0 but i will tell you very simple uh, target for you you can solve this within a 10 second so if you look about this as a circle if you think about this as a circle then the radius is my 1 so what what is the meaning of that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta that's the meaning of this so this is my x x is r radius is 1 x is my cos theta now in this case if you look at the radi uh, circle it will be my here this is my circle so i can see this is my sin theta so i can substitute this value of x and y in my given function so what is the value of this it is cos theta into sin theta divided by root 2 so i can return this number i can multiply 2 and divided by 2 which is my here now what is the maximum value of this we all know the maximum value of this is my 1 over 2 root 2 is the right answer of this prompt you can write them into the two decimal places you will get the right answer okay look at the 30th question so a is my 2 cross 2 real matrix such that a b is equal to b a where b is again a 2 cross 2 real matrix okay fine so what is the meaning of that if a b is equal to b a it means both a and b commute to each other that is the meaning of this both a and b are commute to each other so what is the meaning of that whenever a and b are the two matrix which are commute to each other then what is the meaning of the a a is always a scalar matrix that's the meaning of this what is the meaning of the scalar matrix is that is a is nothing but my k times i that's over now what is given to you trace of the a is equal to 5 so what is the a you can see a is equal to ki that is my is a 2 cross 2 so this is my here now the trace is my 2k is 5 k is my 5 over 2 
now what they wants they wants the determinant of a what is the determinant of a k square 25 over 4 is the right answer of this problem that's a very simple target remember always whenever a and b are commute to each other a is always be a scalar matrix that is k is equal to a is equal to k so i hope you can simply learn these three question in a very simple manner we will see the next lecture on the next five questions related to the gates 2023 statistics till then you can simply like share and comment my this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning